squads, popping homies, it's your favorite homegirl gossip girl. And today we're going to talk about the bodies that were found in the park. Well, it, it wasn't full bodies. They were like body parts. Let's go ahead and get into it. A girl walking to school with a group of friends stumbled upon a severed arm on Long, on Long Island Thursday morning, leading to a police search that uncovered more body parts nearby. And that's according to the officials. The gruesome discovery was made at 8.41 a.m. of a road on Seagull Boulevard in Babylon near Southers Park, according to the Suffolk County Police. Now, the cops said the girl found a disembodied left arm and then called her dad. He headed to the scene and reported the heinous find to the police. Fingertips were removed from the arm, but it's not clear how, according to ABC 7 New, New York, which also reported a clear tattoo was visible on the appendage. Later in the day, a police dog sweeping a wooded area in Southern Park discovered a disembodied leg sticking out of a pile of leaves on Grand Place between Beverly and Martin Place, about a mile away from the first find, according to the officials. The cadaver dog then found a right severed arm about 20 feet further into the woods from where the left arm was found, almost in a direct line. Now, authorities said the human remains had not been there long. The gender has yet to be determined. Now, there is an update to this, and I'll get to that in a minute. Students do come down this block. We will check with the people if it was seen yesterday, but it does appear recent. And that's what um, the detective Kevin Byra told the reporters. Authorities are investigating the troubling find as a homicide. It's a shame. It's a nice neighborhood. Things like this go on, I realize, but you hope it doesn't go on by where you live. And that was said by a worried local. The incident came two weeks after a man's severed leg was found on the Bronx train tracks. Authorities believe the leg may be the remains of a man dragged by a train after he jumped or fell onto the tracks miles away. And that was said by the sources. Okay, so now I'm going to give you an update on this case. Four people were in custody after severed body parts of a man and woman were found scattered on Long Island last week. That's the story that I just gave you guys. As authorities unearthed more remains, and that source was told to the New York Post, the callers came Tuesday after cops raided a home on Railroad Avenue in Amityville late Monday, according to the sources and neighbors. Although cops didn't find any human remains at home, at the home, they found more dismembered limbs hidden in Bethpage State Park and miles away in a wooded area of West Babylon. And that's what was um, the, the Suffolk County Police Department said in a statement on Tuesday. What the heck is going on? Authorities believe the newly discovered remains belong to the same two people whose body parts were uncovered on February 29th in Southern Pond Park in Babylon. Cops haven't publicly identified the victims, but said in the release that the assortment of limbs belong to a 59-year-old woman and a 53-year-old man, both of whom lived at the same address in the city of Yonkers in Westchester County. Now, based on the investigation, this appears to be an isolated incident with no threat to the public. The investigation is continuing. Police did not mention a possible motive for the killings, but sources told NBC New York that authorities are looking into whether the murders were linked to a possible love triangle. The first body part was found Thursday morning by a girl walking to school with her friends on Seagull Boulevard, which is on the east side of Southern Park in Babylon, Suffolk County. On Monday night, battering ram welding officers 
busted through the front door of one of the units on Railroad, Railroad Avenue sometime around 10.30 p.m. And the neighbor told that to the post. There were detectives and police going into my neighbor's house. So I came over to see what was going on, she said. They had bashed the door in and there were a bunch of people standing inside the house. Cops talking to my neighbors. They had already taken some people away. She said she doesn't know much about the neighbors in question except their renters who worked nights and brought a number of, comp of occupants with them. Cops were here all night, she told the Post. Hmm. I watched as long as I could stay awake, and when I woke up in the morning, they were all still there. One of them finally told me what they were looking for and what this was about, she said. I was terrified. I just stopped asking questions. The girl on her way to school called her dad after spotting a dismembered left arm in the bushes. Her father went to the scene, then called the cops to report the stomach-turning discovery, according to the sources. Now, officers swept the area in a gory hunt and eventually turned up more limbs and the two unattached heads. None of the remains appear to have been in the park very long. Preliminary it appears, it appears as a matter of a small amount of days. It's not hours. So they saying that, hmm. So they basically saying that those limbs were spread out, like during, like in in the days, if not hours, because they were they wasn't there that long. They didn't have time to rot. So it was freshly done. Wow. Now, one of the heads, as well as a right arm and leg, are thought to belong to the same female victim. And that's what the law enforcement had told the New York Post. Wow, this is crazy. The other head, as well as two arms, seem to be from the same man. The man's tattooed left arm, which is missing fingertips, could mean the victim has a record, according to the sources. Now, perhaps his killers didn't want him identified through fingertips because that might lead authorities to them. Police hope the tattoos will help identify the man. For someone to cut off somebody's fingertips, I'm sorry, but this whole thing sounds like this, this was done before. This was done before. He cut off the fingertips, well, whoever cut off the fingertips so that the person's body or body part couldn't be identified right away. But the person had tattoos. I wonder if there's another way they could find out who that person is. I'm pretty sure with technology today, they will find out who the person is and who that female is. But why would somebody do this to them? 59-year-old and a 53-year-old. Why would somebody do this? This is weird. But anyway, let me know if you heard about this story. Um, It's crazy. It's, it, it's really crazy. Let's see if there's any comments on here because I would love to read you guys the comments if there's any. Let's see. Well, of course, you know, people always connect these murders to Biden and Trump. I don't understand why. Mm. And of course, they talk about Mark Cuban. I don't know what he would have to do with this, and I'm not even going to get into that. But anyway, it's really nothing. They talking about a whole bunch of nonsense that I am not going to be repeating. But anyway, you guys let me know in the comment section oh, how you feel about this case. Now, this happened in Long Island. All right? Long Island. In a nice neighborhood. And the bodies of the people, you know, that they found, I think they lived in Westchester and Yonkers. So I don't understand. They took them from Yonkers 
and brought them to Long Island and chopped them up. Like, this is weird, but I'm definitely going to keep my eye on this, and I'll bring back some updates when I can. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.